up? It's Phil from Fit Will Exposed. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you guys a handful of reasons as to why some bodybuilders don't like doing deadlifts off the floor and why they rather pull in a rack in the below the kneecap style instead. Now, keep in mind, bodybuilding, it's all about the look, aesthetics, hypertrophy, and just being extremely big. So, they do care about strength, but it's more of a side effect than anything else. So, on the road to getting as big as humanly possible, they're going to basically adjust certain parameters in their training to suit their needs. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first reason as to why some bodybuilders don't do deadlifts off the floor, it's because it's not mandatory because they're not powerlifters. And also some bodybuilders actually just don't want to do the deadlift overall for their own personal reasons via injuries or because they think that there are certain exercises that are superior to the deadlift which I'll address later. So obviously when you're a powerlifter, you know, the big three is mandatory. You could do bench only meets, but if you want to call yourself a full on powerlifter, you have to do deadlifts. But when you're a bodybuilder, you don't have to adopt this philosophy and this mentality because you don't have to play by their rules. You know, when you're a bodybuilder, not every exercise you do has to have carry over to everything because you don't have a big three. So you could take from different realms of fitness when you are a bodybuilder and you could do the same thing when you're a powerlifter too. But when you're a bodybuilder, especially you could take every exercise that is at your disposal that's going to help you with your size. So you can take some lifts from the calisthenics world, you know, pull-ups and dips. You can take some lifts from the Olympic lifting world, you know, high pulls and cleans. You can take the squat and the bench from uh, powerlifting. And from strongman, you could take like the push press and stuff of that nature. So you could pretty much do what you want when you're a bodybuilder. Okay, so the second reason as to why some bodybuilders don't do any pulls off the floor, it's because they think that the deadlift works too many muscles at once. Therefore, it doesn't target one area particularly hard so instead of doing pulls off the floor for the majority of the year some bodybuilders will actually just do rack pulls below the kneecap for the upper back lats and erectors and they'll do rdls or stiff legged deadlifts for the lower part of the posterior chain so for the glutes and hamstrings they get the weighted stretch their eccentric base movements and they feel like there's a combination of rack pulls below the kneecap and rdls is gonna build an amazing backside. And some bodybuilders will still do deadlifts every now and then throughout the year, but it's not a main thing. Okay, so thirdly, when it comes to bodybuilders doing deadlift variations for the sole purpose of back hypertrophy, they're gonna be more in favor of the rack pull below the kneecap over the deadlift off the floor because when doing the barbell right below the kneecap, you could usually lift 50 to 100 pounds over what you could lift from the floor. So there's obviously some overloading benefits and there's also some benefits I'm going to address in the next tip. Okay, so the fourth reason as to why bodybuilders lift in this fashion, it's because when you do the rack pull slightly below the kneecap, it's a lot easier on recovery as opposed to doing heavy pulls off the floor. So the rack pulls below the kneecap are easier on recovery because you could keep a way more vertical torso. And also you could lift heavier weights coincidentally, like I mentioned before, but the fact that your torso is a little bit more upright, it makes it easier on your recovery. Therefore, you can hit your other exercises harder. So you could go heavier on your rows, you know, maybe heavier on your pull-ups and stuff like that. But when you do heavy pulls off the floor, it tends to tax the whole body and you don't feel like doing that much else after that. And you can still do stuff after that, but you can't go as heavy as you would if you were to do, you know, rack pull and kneecap and then do your workout after that. So. I'm not against deadlifts and bodybuilders aren't against deadlifts either, but this is why they tend to do a bit more pulls from right below the kneecap. Okay, so the last reason why some bodybuilders like doing their pulls from slightly below the kneecap is because let's say if they want to transition back into powerlifting in the future, they're still going to have some of the muscles strengthen that are associated with the deadlift. So obviously if you're pulling heavy weights from slightly below the kneecap, you're going to have a pretty good deadlift lockout. You know, if you're pulling six and a half plates from right below the knee, your deadlift lockout is going to be strong. And if you're doing RDLs with, you know, 405 or 455, where, you know, you're not touching the floor, but you're one inch away from it, your hamstrings and glutes are going to be pretty strong. And you're most likely going to be pretty strong off the floor during the deadlift too, without ever performing the lift. Yes, there you guys have it. That's why some bodybuilders don't do a lot of pulls off the floor and why they rather pull from slightly below the kneecap instead. And for the lower part of the posterior chain, they do stiff-legged deadlifts or RDL variations. Now, don't think for a second that I'm anti-deadlift because I'm not. I actually do a lot of pulls off the floor and from a deficit, but I just happen to do them in a snatch grip fashion because I think it's more effective for the upper back and the lats. But that's a completely different topic altogether. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Let me know if any of your favorite bodybuilders do any rack pulls from below the kneecap. 
And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.